Hey, what is up all you marvelous people? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, which is the next game in the Marvel vs. Capcom franchise. So, around about two or three weeks ago, there were leaked images of MVC4 and everybody kind of went into a big hype, at least those who have been waiting for a long time for the next Marvel vs. Capcom game to come out, and that is pretty much all we knew, but due to yesterday's first day of PSX, we actually found out that yes, a new Marvel vs. Capcom game is coming out and it is titled Infinity, which is a very smart move by both Marvel and Capcom. Now, of course, the Infinity part of the title does focus on the Infinity Stones, which is currently the main focus of the current state of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, if you watch every single one of those movies, it is pretty much building up to Thanos getting a hold of these Infinity Stones and causing havoc. No. I'll do it myself. Now, of course, in the trailer, we do not see Thanos, but we do see that both Captain Marvel and Mega Man X actually have possession of two Infinity Stones, Captain Marvel having the Time Stone, and I believe Mega Man actually having the Power Stone, which is a pretty great fit. So what we do know about these stones is that they will be very highly important in the game and that when you actually assign them to a character and when you actually activate them within the battle, it will serve as a kind of special attack and then you will pull off some crazy ass moves and that will give you an advantage against your opponent depending on how well you actually use them. Now, just to throw it in there, I am very much a fan of this kind of, I don't know, I guess the way they've done this, because it kind of brings the gaming side of Marvel in a little bit closer to the current state of the MCU. Like I said, you know, the MCU right now is focusing on the Infinity Stones, and this game, to actually bring in the Infinity Stones as part of the campaign gameplay and both online multiplayer is a very smart move. You know, they're kind of gonna draw in a lot of a movie only fans, I guess you could say. Now, other than that information, we actually only saw four people confirmed for this game. You know, we have Iron Man, we have Captain Marvel, we have Mega Man X, and we of course have Ryu. How could we not? And we kind of don't know who else is going to be picked. But what I do know is that due to the recent success of most of these newer characters in the Marvel movies, that has actually influenced who Marvel and Capcom, the creative team who have came together to create this game, have actually chosen for us to have in our character rosters so you know the people who we can actually pick in the game now knowing that information I kind of want to give who I think will be in this game on the Marvel side of the universe and um, yeah I'm kind of basing this on succession of the comic books and the movies so that's kind of my explanation for who I'm picking so first off we have Doctor Strange then Groot, Star-Lord, Black Panther due to his awesome fighting techniques and also Ant-Man due to the recent success of the movies and just the fact that he can actually shrink down and shit like that. That's just really awesome. Then we have people like Spider-Gwen. Not many of you guys actually know who that is probably. It's basically Gwen Stacy as a spider woman, I guess. And uh, the comic books are very popular at the minute. I love them. I just think that if they didn't add in this character, it'd be a very stupid thing to do. Um, also, we do have people like female Thor also, which is basically Jane Foster, but she actually possesses the power of Thor. That'd be very cool if they did that. I would really, really love it. Other than that, I feel like maybe Frank West on the Capcom side of things would be a very good idea. I would love to play as Frank West and just kick someone's ass. That'd be pretty cool. But that is pretty much it for my character speculation. I really hope they like add in like 40 characters from Marvel and 40 from Capcom. That would just be insanely cute. Cute? I don't know why I said cute. But I, I meant cool. I don't know. Well, anyway, it'd be fucking awesome anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, that has pretty much been it for this video. Who do you think they will add in to this game? Are you excited for this? Or you're not really that bothered? Um, either way, leave a comment, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. And until next time, my friends, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.